Good day everyone, my name is Kenneth V. Velasquez, Section 12A, Group 4, and a student nurse from Davao Doctors College. Today, I will be showing you my return demonstration in performing open gloving. This procedure is important because wearing gloves help protect both patients and health workers, of course, from infection. The, these will also help keep your hands clean and lessen your chance of getting germs that can make you sick. Of course, the materials that we need to use in this assessment or procedure are, of course, the sterile gloves and a trash can here. Completeness and organization of our equipment ensures our efficiency as nurses. Now that we are all set, we can proceed with the procedure. First, we need to perform thorough hand washing and this means that we need to follow the steps in performing hand washing or hand hygiene because um, this is important because it decreases the bacterial counts on hands and it prevents contamination of sterile equipment just like our sterile gloves here. And also make sure um, while hand washing, make, please make sure that your nails are properly trimmed so that you will not uh, um, experience any difficulties when applying this uh, surgical gloves. So I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, so after hand washing, we need to prepare sterile gloves ensuring the correct size and inspect for tear or strains because this will help us ensure the sterility of the package of the gloves. Also, choose the right size of the gloves because gloves come in multiple sizes and make sure the gloves are tight enough so that objects are easy to pick up. Um, of course, um, to identify which size of the glove will you use, um, you can actually measure it by inch using this tape measure. And for my end, my measurement is seven and a half. And this means that I will be getting a size of 7.5 inches for my sur surgical gloves or sterile gloves. 7.5 if I'm not mistaken is under the small category and of course um, with when talking about tears as I have checked here there are no any other strains and sears that uh, will affect the sterility of the surgical gloves so um, before removing the wrapper of course you need to read for some manufacturer's directions because some provide a number of sequences for opening the flaps and um, folded tabs to grasp for opening the flaps and of course now we will be um, removing the outer wrapper of the glove package by um, carefully separating and peeling apart sides. So I'm starting now. Just remove the sides. And after this one, of course, grasp the inner package and lay it on a clean, dry, and flat surface waste level area. We're just going to drop this one and, of course, discard it to the proper receptacle. So, um, as you can see here, the table should be clean and dry because of any moisture on the surface could contaminate the glove and the package itself. So of course here we will be opening the package and um, as you can see here this is 7.5 and I'm opening the package now. So
So as you can see, there are flaps here, respective flaps. This flaps here uh, in the front is uh, one inch, and this flap here um, at the top and the bottom is um, two inches, approximately two inches. This flap will help you to um, maintain the sterility of the gloves. So you will open the inner package by holding the um, front flops and then just make it like this and and also you also need to consider that there is an imaginary box here which is considered sterile and of course the gloves themselves so um now we need to identify the right and left glove so that you can avoid the future mistakes so most of the gloves have the package most of the gloves have its label whether it's left and right just like mine it, the left is here and the right is here left and right and um so inside this package as i can see here each glove has cuff approximately five centimeter or two inches wide um, the cuff should be considered unsterile because it tends to collect moisture and of course is not an effective bacterial barrier now um, we need to glove my hand or my dominant hand first because these will minimize the risk of um, ripping or contamination to the hands you are using the most so since I am left-handed it is given that my dominant hand is also my left hand while my non-dominant hand will be my right hand so next is that uh, um, using our thumb and first two fingers of uh, my non-dominant hand which is right grasp the edge of the cuff of glove for dominant hand touching only the inside surface of the glove because it will help us avoid contamination um, contaminating the outside which is sterile so this cup is the inside part of the um, gloves which is not sterile so we just need to this one or touch this one so um, now we need to carefully pull the glove over the dominant hand leaving the cuff and being sure that it's not rolled up to the wrist and be sure that the thumb and the fingers are in proper spaces because these will allow us ease of application so i'm doing this right now so um there is actually a trick here you just need to enter your first four fingers and then you just need to properly place this one and then after you place this one you can actually place your thumb and by placing your thumb you can actually adjust adjust and adjust until you can make a proper position of your gloves don't worry if it's not in the right area you can actually adjust it later so after this one now since my dominant hand is gloved already we need to, to slip our fingers underneath the cuff of the second um of the second glove because this maintains sterility okay so um now i will enter this or put this and please make sure that our thumbs will be backwards always like this and also you will not uh, or please expect that the inside package will move itself because of your adjustments here so now after this one carefully pull the second glove over the non-dominant hand and of course make sure to not allow your fingers and your thumb of glove dominant hand to touch any part of the exposed dominant hand and as i have said earlier you need to keep your thumb of the dominant hand abducted back and always remember to touch the sterile only to prevent contamination so um in this we will be um using the same technique just like this 
Um, once you use this technique, of course, do not touch. Touch only the inside part of the cup. And then bring up your hand and then bring in this one to adjust everything. You just need to adjust everything. And then adjust, adjust. And then that's it. And once your gloves are on, you can actually adjust it because this is sterile to sterile, which is safe. You just need to adjust it so that it can be tight or if you're not feeling comfortable enough, you can just adjust it. But please make sure to touch only the sterile parts of your glove. So now, once gloves are on, are on are both on interlock our glove hands and keep at least six inches away from your clothing um keeping hands above our waist level area and below the shoulder until the beginning of the procedure because this will help us prevent um from accidentally touching of non-sterile objects or front of your gown or of course from contamination so since our glove hands are considered sterile please uh, make sure to not uh, touch anything including the, the the bedside table the table the patient's surroundings and the patient's bedside and all of the etc and even if your face feels itchy uh, please do not touch your face so right now um we, i will be showing you the proper glove disposal to remove gloves and um, so to remove gloves we need to grasp outside of the cup or the palm of the glove and um, we need to gently pull the glove off um, turning it inside out and placing it into the glove hand doing this one will prevent the contamination of the hands um, when removing the gloves so as i have said earlier um you need to touch only sterile to sterile so that you will maintain the sterility of the um, gloves but then again if you you touch anything like this table um, I'm sorry to say but you have to repeat all the procedures so that you can have that sterility again so as I have said earlier you need to turn this back um, upside down and once upside down you need to just like this and and this is non sterile after that take the fingers off our bare hand and of course um we need to and after that we need to take the bare hand and tuck it in inside this um gloved hand and just like this and um the thing that i have did earlier i have take the fingers of my bare hand and tuck inside the um, remaining glove cuff and i peel the glove off inside out and from this i will be discarding in it in the receptacle so this procedure is really important because it prevents contamination of the glove hand touching the ungloved head so discard this one so after this one um perform hand hygiene to remove the powder from the gloves which can irritate the skin and it also prevents contamination from potential pinholes in the gloves So, um, before we end, um, I just want you to be informed that there are actually safety considerations in performing hand gloving. First, ensure the sterility of the package of the gloves or the for the entire procedure. Uh, second, remove all of your jewelry. Third, no artificial nails or extenders. Or cheap nail polish should be worn. And lastly, um, of course, uh, inspect your hands for um, 
for any sores and abrasions if there are any uh, but if there are any cover or report to supervisor as required so that will be it for today again i'm kenneth velasquez section 12a group 4 and a student nurse from davao doctors college thank you and god bless